So the question is, are you afraid of spiders? Yes or no? Hmm. Well, how do we respond when we're afraid? Do you respond this way? Hey, what's your problem? It's in the cage! It's in there with you! Go! Some people are going to run, but how else do we respond when we're afraid? The first one, we're running. That's what we call flight. What about this one? Stay! How does the brain process the emotion? Well, in order for the brain to process the emotion, there is what we call the emotional part of the brain. And that emotional part of the brain is known as the amygdala. So for instance, merong nasusunog ngayon. Kung may nasusunog ngayon tapos ikaw takot na takot, well, what is that part of your body responsible for that part of the brain? That's your amygdala. Pero kapag tapos na ang sunog, dapat yung amygdala mo relax na. Kapag wala ng sunog, dapat ang amygdala mo pahinga na. Pero bakit ganon? Merong times na may mga tao habang nasusunog ang bahay, kinakabahan, tapos kahit wala ng sunog, kinakabahan pa rin. Bakit may mga tao na kapag nasa gera, takot na takot dahil nga ang daming explosive, tapos wala na sila sa gera, and yet, nandun na sila sa ospital, pero pakiramdam nila, parang marami pa ring explosive. Why? Because post-traumatic stress disorder is the result of a hyperactive amygdala. The amygdala works with another part of the brain. And the amygdala works with what we call as the hippocampus. And so now we're tempted to ask, if the amygdala is the one responsible for our emotions, then sir, 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 what is the role of the hippocampus, you may ask. Let me tell you. The hippocampus is the one responsible for what? Correct, Marvi, new information. So whenever you have a new memory, it's being stored there in the hippocampus. So you have a happy memory today, it's there in your hippocampus. You have a sad memory right now, it's there in your hippocampus. It's the one that's going to store new memories. That's why. There was a question about people who suffer from Alzheimer's disease, and the question was about the brain of the person with Alzheimer's disease. And what was the question? The question is, what is the problem in the brain of the person with Alzheimer's disease? How come? A person with Alzheimer's disease celebrated her birthday today, but tomorrow she won't even recall what happened today. Why? Because the hippocampus of people with Alzheimer's disease, okay, shrink. Dumiliit ang hippocampus nila. So they cannot store new memories. Totoo, they live in the past. So this happens to people with post-traumatic stress disorder. They live in the past. That's why, even though they're living in the present, the memories of the past keep on haunting them. The hippocampus. The hippocampus compares the sensory information with brain expectation. So when you look at something and you say, ah, this will make me feel this way, that's your hippocampus telling you. So when you see something, ah, it's being interpreted by the hippocampus. Of course, it's going to be interpreted by your sensory organ, by the eyes, by the occipital lobe. But along with those parts of the brain, the hippocampus says, ah, the brain sees something, this is my expectation. Meron namang na-hold up dito sa inyo? Dati, ang iniisip mo sa mundo ganito. Pag may lumapit sa'yo, may kanya ba kayong moment sa buhay yung pag may lumalapit sa inyong tao o kaya may tumingin sa inyong pakiramdam nyo? Ah, crush ako dito. May ganyan kayo? Okay. Kung may ganyan kayo, yan, uh, yan yung delusion. No? Yan yung erotomania. Yan yung erotomanic delusion. Yung feeling mo pag tumingin sa'yo, crush ka. Ganun ka ba nun? Yung pag may lumapit sa'yo, crush ka? So yun ang hippocampus mo. Sabi ng hippocampus mo, Nako, basta pag may lumalapit sa, sa akin, ibig sabihin crush ako. But then, ano nangyari? Na-hold up ka. So after kang ma-hold up, anong nangyari sa'yo? Sabi ng hippocampus, wait. Pag may lumapit pala sa akin, pwedeng hold up. So ngayon, nang sabi ng hippocampus, ano kaya ang mas magandang ilagay ko sa memory ko? Na pag lumapit, crush ako. Pag lumapit, hold up. So ngayon, anong ginawa niya? <laughs> Pagpangit man niya. Okay. So anong ginawa ngayon ng brain mo? Sabi ng brain mo, nako. Sandali. Kailangan, lagi kong iisipin na pag may lumalapit sa akin, hold upin ako. And from then on, the hippocampus talk to the, ano nga letter A responsible for emotion? Hippocampus talk to the, to the amygdala. And from then on, kahit hindi ka na, kahit tapos na yung hold up, in hold up ka one year ago, in hold up ka two years ago, every time may lumalapit sa'yo ngayon, the hippocampus tells you, 
well, there's a threat and the amygdala shoots up. Kaya ngayon, kung meron kayong may times na ninenerbius ka bigla, kahit tapos na yung mga bad memories or bad experiences, kinakabahan ka pa rin bigla, that's your hippocampus talking to your amygdala. 